Hey everybody, um, I'm going to be uh, doing a simple kind of unit duplication tutorial mainly because uh, when I first started I was like when I duplicated a unit and like half the stuff didn't work I was like oh god I have no idea what I'm going to do with this and as usual you bash your head against it and then a day later you finally get the unit to shoot the missile right or something like that so um, and I know I rushed past in my old tutorials I kind of rushed through making the unit because that wasn't the important thing. The important thing was uh, getting like whatever the tower defense going. Um, so I'm going to just do sort of a simple tutorial here, just one simple thing which is just duplicating a photon cannon so that everybody can see um, well in the release editor now finally what are like the actual fields you want to care about and stuff like that. Um, so I have made a new map, well I haven't made a new map but I'm going to make a new map here. I'm just going to go OK and hopefully this will be a short tutorial if uh, everything works. Right. Um, I'm not going to be doing building or anything. It's just uh, straight up one photon tower, photon cannon. I mean, so let's go right to the data editor, and let's go to units. That's where you generally start. Um, and let's search for photon. There's a lot of hidden things when you duplicate a unit that uh, they've gotten better since the beta. Blizzard has been pretty good about that, but uh, you got to watch out for little things. So when we duplicate the photon cannon, you don't want to duplicate attack. Uh, or any of these. You do want to duplicate the actor, the attack. Splat I generally do too. And um, let's say I don't want any power up or power down. Uh, let's do this. And let's do this. Just good to have... Um, actually let's not do these. And Well, if you don't check these then you're going to have to go back to these actors and add your actor in, I believe. And if you do duplicate these um, it will link your actor in nicely, but then you'll have two Protoss building birth small actors, which is kind of extra. But so I'm not going to do. I'm just going to ignore these. Let's ignore those behaviors. Let's say my photon cannon is not going to be a detector or a power user, and it doesn't need uh, doesn't need to duplicate that. So we want to duplicate these two, um, not splash damage. We duplicate these because we're going to be changing the damage, and not the footprint, obviously, not the model. I'm not going to be changing on any models, just the actors. Uh, let's see. And this, of course, um, this is the unit for its um, for its weapon. So, when a photon cannon or any missile-based attack fires its weapon, it shoots that little ball of energy or whatever, or shoots the missile, shoots the rocket. That uh, that rocket is actually controlled by uh, the unit for it. So, in this case, it's the weapon, photon cannon weapon. And we want to duplicate the actual weapon itself, which is the actual t thing that fires out. And oh, and the turret as well, because that's what controls how it turns uh, properly. And I know in my simple defense tower defense tutorial back ways ways ago, back uh, months ago, uh, I don't think I did that properly. Um, I think I did it better in my advanced tower defense tutorial, but even back then I was still pretty new to the whole thing, and I was just churning out tutorials. So hopefully I'll get it right this time. So you duplicate and you double click here and some some units that you duplicate don't let you change this and that's just unfortunate um, I think it's because I'm using it from Liberty Multi for some reason uh, but let's change the name and generally you want to change this to be the exact same or, or just click suggest after you rename it and let's call this Super Cannon and that's fine okay and let's just rename everything proper so I clicked on the attack actor and it suggests this one we can rename nicely Okay, and now the photon cannon actor itself for the actual unit. Let's call this super cannon suggest. Okay, it's always good to rename the built-in uh, behind-the-scenes name. This this ID super cannon splat. Oops, spolat. That's like a Russian name or something. Uh, okay, so we got that. Um, so let's go let's go into our unit here and um, command car. Let's get rid of detector because this guy's not a detector really or anymore and behaviors let's get of get rid of all this crap uh, we want under construction though and um, you know you can change if you don't want it to acquire units and if you don't want it to be offensive you can change these um, its weapon is good we'll change that later now the cost is important um, from beta they actually changed all the all the unit costs and building costs to be right here instead of in the train ability or in the build ability so this is where you'd actually set the cost, so let's make it like 5. Even though I'm not going to be doing building here, it's just good that people know that. 
Um, you can change what it collides with. Uh, footprint two by two. I'm gonna make this actually footprint three by three because we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Uh, footprint three by three. Here we go. And radius. Let's make it one point three. Generally, you have to guess and test with these numbers. Um, if you can't do it right off the bat, like right right in your head, I mean, uh, it's hard to translate these numbers to actual like gameplay in game stuff. When it's hard to just think about it, in my opinion, but once you use it enough, you'll know. Armor, let's get rid of armor. Facing, that's good. Life, maximum life starting, that's good. Um, um, uh, no shields, so let's get rid of shields. Get rid of all this regen stuff. Okay, sight radius 11 is good. And um, attributes, good. Flags, now because, let's say we're making a tower defense where you build, a, where you shoot down at the enemies, you'd probably check invulnerable. Um, you can do other stuff here, but not really important. And so the unit itself is done now. But if we went in game, this would be a pretty, it wouldn't, there'd be a lot wrong with this. So let's go to the actor itself. And a lot of stuff you can set here. I mean, luckily our model is set properly. But uh, if you had a little, if you went in game and there was a purple sphere instead of your unit, then you would just change. It's probably this value that's wrong here. Um, events, okay, this is all normal. Uh, sounds. If you change the model to be something else, like a missile turret, you'd have to change the sounds too. Um, the ones that are unknown you ignore, but like the ones that actually have a sound, you generally want to uh, change to the new the new tower. Every every unit has associated sounds with it. And a highlight tooltip if you if you check the flag in the actual unit to have a tooltip, uh, you can set this um, icon. I'm not going to be changing any of these unit icon. Uh, what I will be changing is the art scale. We're going to make it 1.4. So it's going to be a little, bit, quite a little bit bigger. And now in the attack actor, um, you can see that these two things were set to our copy, so that's good. That's perfect. Um, and what these will do is, um, by setting these, it'll automatically set the fields in the events. So in events, events controls everything for actors. So um, whether or not you've looked in it before, the only reason that you know a ball of energy comes out when you shoot with when the sh photon cannon shoots is because of these events here. Um, effect any any effect starts at the caster create, and so it just uh, and then what this means is it'll create uh, this art missile here. Where is art missile here? Super cannon attack missile, which as we can see is not set to anything. And this is a common blunder of. Uh, of me and new me in the past and ma new mappers is that this field goes unnoticed and this is an important field um, so you got these linked here properly so let's go rename these uh, super cannon damage good and let's suggest and super cannon launch missile I didn't put brackets there but it doesn't really matter no one in games ever gonna see these names now let's check that this got changed too. Good. So the damage, let's just make it... So what's going to happen is the weapon here. Uh, super cannon, let's rename that too. So the weapon is going to... So the super cannon has a weapon which is going to fire the effect launch super cannon launch missile. And the super cannon launch missile is going to make the unit, which is this dude here, which we have to rename in a second. And then that unit's going to travel, and when that travel hits the target, it's going to do the impact effect of the damage. So the damage is going to be 100. It's pretty beastly. And it's going to be of type ranged. That's good. And these, this is good. If you ever find that you make a damage effect and the units you're attacking aren't coming back to attack you, it's because you probably didn't have these checked off. So make sure you have those. And these, these fields are important, but because we duplicated, it's pretty much already set. If you're making stuff from scratch, though, stuff like this is important. Stuff like this, 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 and this, of course. And this is the amount of uh, uh, damage that's reduced. So if I do, if anybody has one armor, then it's going to be reduced by, uh, my damage is going to be reduced by one from that. Okay, so launch missile, that looks good. Um, that's fine. Does the damage, and it has the right unit here. Good. Okay, 